Let it go, let it go. We do ba do 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 do. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, hi. My name is Deborah. In today's video, we are looking at the color. Oh my god. The ColourPop Frozen 2 collection. And yeah, I just poked myself in the eye. But how excited are you? So excited, it's crazy. So, ColourPop just sent me the Frozen 2 collection, and I. I'm pretty excited. So let's just take a look, shall we? And you know, I thought about filming this with makeup on, but like, just deal with it. You're gonna have to look at my face in its current form and uh, you're gonna like it. <laughs> so which one should we look at first? I'll leave a comment below if you are Team Elsa or Team Anna. I personally in the movie like Anna because like Elsa's barely in it, but all the kids seem to love Elsa. And I'm like, hello. She was barely in the movie. The movie's really about Anna, if you're being serious now. Oh my god. But anyways, that's neither here nor there. But I would like to know who your team on. And oh my god, before I forget, could you please do me a favor and subscribe to my YouTube channel while you're here? And maybe hit that like button, because, you know, I did put in an amount of effort to make this video. So, you know, that's, that's the least you can do. I would greatly appreciate it, though, truly. So anyways... Let's get right into this review and tutorial, shall we? Let's look at the Elsa box first, since I guess she is like the character most people care about. So in this box, we have an eyeshadow palette, a lip gloss, a lipstick, and a glittery obsessed. So this is the palette. Very nice, very nice. Got hairs everywhere. It screams frozen, obviously. And I will swatch that for you in a minute. It also came with this very berry toned lipstick in the color Little Snow. I guess I'll swatch it for you. And there we go, fam. Real cute, super wearable, really cute. And we also got a lip gloss here, this clear lip gloss in the color Mythic Journey. Super cute. And we got a glitterly obsessed in the color The Dark Sea. Super heckin' cute. And let me swatch this palette for you. Why not? We're here, we're queer. Get used to it. Ooh, this is pretty. Ooh, bitch. Ooh, bitch. So here, oh my god. god I, I always do this where I can't do it. Okay, let's just, there's the swatches, everyone. Um, I will say the blue doesn't swatch the best, but I am hopeful that it will go better on, on the eyes because that's the palette we're using today, fam. So I was planning on using that blue. But this glitter, this pressed glitter here, wow, wow. Honestly, the swatches are prettier on the arm than they are in the palette. The palette looks okay. On the arm, it's like stunning, stunning, darling. My good. Beach, I'm living. And then in the Anna collection, we again have a palette and a lip gloss. <laughs> and then we have a lipstick and another glitterly obsessed. And because I got two of these, I'm going to give this one away to one of you guys. Now let's take a look at it and she what she'll be getting, shall we? And I'm not gonna swatch this one, obviously, because I'm giving it away, but it's very pretty. Honestly, this palette is probably, arguably, more wearable than the other one, which is why I thought I would give it away, so you guys can get a wearable palette that she'll actually use. Very pretty. I did a poll on Instagram which one you guys liked more. So far, everyone is saying Anna, so you're welcome. This comes with a glitterly obsessed as well in the color Waterfall. Cute, very cute. And it also comes with a rosy lipstick, and that's in the color Going North. And then you get this nude lip gloss in the color Free Spirit. Very cute. So this entire collection launches this Friday, November 15th. If you are watching this after this Friday, it's not this Friday anymore. It's just November 15th. I do not have pricing information for you. Sorry, they didn't give it to me and I don't see it on the website. But 
you can use code 5 Deborah to save $5 on your ColourPop purchase of $20 or more. It's a pretty dang good coupon if you ask me. That doesn't get me anything except, you know, maybe some bonus points with ColourPop, but it does get you something. It gets you $5 off, so I don't know why you wouldn't want to use it to be honest. So, I do believe darling that I'm going to go do an eye off camera and then I will be right back to continue this party oh and I will give you all the giveaway rules later I gotta give you a reason to keep watching darling so stay tuned to figure out how you can win this palette it's a collection not just a palette okay you'll get this whole dang box not a bad giveaway if you ask me I'll be right back with an eye on see you soon darling okay so i finished this eye or you know finished it so let's just get right into the other eye shall we i already have prepped my eyelid with the p louise base in rumor 2 bam and so i obviously did not set my eye we're going straight in with the colors darling and i haven't done my brows yet today so that's why i look like a naked mole rat no big deal. Let's get this eye started, shall we? So first we are going into this color Awakened and we are using a Furless Cosmetics Pro 8E brush and we are going in and stamping that right into the crease. And then we're gonna do a little bit of blending and just more stamping to get that color nice and packed on there. Now we're going in with a Furless Cosmetics ME3 brush. There's no product on this brush and we're just swirling out that color to blend it out a little bit before we go in with our next colors. Now we're going in with the color Fire, a beautiful nude shade, and we're using a Sigma E47 brush. You can use code Deborah Jen to save yourself some monies, boy, on all Sigma products. We are just blending that right above the first shade just to create a very nice blend. Now we are going in with an e.l.f. Detail Crease Brush just to blend it out even more. And there's no product on this brush. We are just simply blending, darling. Now we are going in with a Furless Cosmetics Pro 7E brush and it's a very fluffy brush and we are just blending even more, darling. Now we are going in with the color Awakened again, back in on that first brush that we used just to deepen up that color because sometimes after you blend, you wanna go back in with your colors to make sure you get the maximum color payoff. This may seem unnecessary to you, but I feel like it's necessary. Now we're going into the color Spindrift. I don't know what a Spindrift is, but sure. And we're taking that in on a Makeup Shack T58 brush and we are just packing that into the outer corner to deepen up that outer corner. And again, I, I have no idea what a spin drift is. Uh, if anyone can let me know in the comments below, you know, holla at your girl. And we're also bringing it around into the inner corner a little bit as well, just to darken the crease there, but we don't want to get too crazy much onto that inner corner. Now we are blending that out with our Pro 8E brush from Furless Cosmetics, just to make sure it's all really blended. Now we are going in with our P. Louise base to cut the crease and slap some product on the lid and look up, and then where the product transfers is how you know where to cut your crease. And we are using the Pro 4M brush from Furless Cosmetics for this, and it is my new favorite brush for cutting the crease. It is perfection. Now we are going in with the color Gale and we are using my favorite Alamar Cosmetics Flat Shader Brush and we are putting this on the outer portion of the cut crease. It is just a beautiful lilac-y sparkly tone and I am loving it. Now we are going in with the color Cuddle Close. How cute is that name? And we are taking that in on a MAC 242 brush and just putting that on the inner portion of the cut crease, just to get a nice gradient from the dark colors to the light colors. It looks white in the pan, but it comes out like a sparkly pink and it is just so beautiful. Now we are going back in with the weirdly named color Spindrift, and we are bringing that back into the outer corner just to create a nice gradient and make sure it blends in with the lighter colors. All right, y'all, I am done with most of the eyes. So I'm going to go do my eyebrows and my face off camera, clean this up, you know, like all the fallout and whatever, and then I will be right back and we will finish up the eye loop, darling. 
I'm back. And as you can see, this eye is done. So why don't we go into this eye? I did um, line my eye in black liner, but I have now decided that I wanna do blue liner. So we're gonna do blue liner. We're gonna go in with the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in Jawbreaker on a Morphe 250-1 brush. So let me zoom you in so we can get this bitch done, shall we? Get her done. So we are taking that lipstick in and we are just drawing a line close to the lash line. And as I said before, I did draw a black line already. That is completely unnecessary. I just simply changed my mind and decided I wanted a blue liner. Oh yes, cute face. Now we are going in with that Spindrift shade again, and we are taking that in on a Makeup Shack T58 brush, and we are just packing that as close to the lower lash line as possible. Now we are taking the color Awakened and making a really cute face, and we are taking that in on a Morphe E18 brush to blend out the first shade and further smoke out the eye. Now we're going back in with that Jeffree Star Cosmetics lipstick in Jawbreaker, and we are just lining the waterline to add even more of the blue so we get even more of that frozen vibe. And I got a little bit of it in my eye, but it's okay because Jeffree's lipsticks are eye safe. Now I'm just going to put on some mascara real quick. Just going to zoom through this because uh, no one cares what that looks like. Now we are going in with the Glitterly Obsessed in the color The Dark Sea. Even though this is a white, I don't know how it's dark, but it is pretty. So I guess it doesn't matter what the name is. And I'm just putting this on with an e.l.f. silicone glitter applicator brush. And this has kind of a lot of blue and pink reflex. And it is so pretty. I am glitterly obsessed. <sighs> okay. So now I'm going to put on my lashes, the Coco Queen Bee lashes, off camera and I will be right back, darling. Now that our lashes are on, I'm going to go in with the ColourPop Cosmetics Lux Cream Lipstick in the color Little Snow and just put that on the lips real quick. Gonna fast forward through this though because you don't need to see all this. We're just putting on lipstick. <laughs> Okay, y'all, this is the finished look, and it is 3.30 a.m. Why do I do this to myself? I don't know. But my neighbors are also being incredibly loud, so I guess I'm not the only one awake. So anyways, I'm quite happy with the way this look came out. I think this palette is actually much prettier on the eyes than even looks in the palette. Absolutely insane. I mean, I'm happy with the collection. I don't know how much it costs, so I can't tell you if I think it's worth the price. My guess is $25. Let's see, there's a palette, there's a lipstick, glitter. Oh, it's more than $25. Oh, it's probably like $40 with all that stuff in there. That's a lot of stuff. $25 to $40 would be my guess. I Once it's out, I will put it in the description, however much it happens to be. Why don't you guys comment below what your guess is for the price? I don't know, but whatever the price is, you can use code 5 Deborah to save yourself some money, boy. You might as well. Anyways, um, yeah, I think I liked all the colors in here, except the blue did have me a little afraid to even try putting it on the lid. I was going to do a blue half cut crease until I swatched it, and then I was like, oh, I don't know, that blue's not really coming out at all. I'm confused, I don't know, TBD. To be honest, I didn't use it. It could be good. The swatch wasn't though, but the rest of the palette is really cute. I did not expect to be creating an all pink look. I did another all pink look not that long ago, which is why I was like, oh shoot, I better add some like blue liner or something to make this different from the last one. So I put on a ton of inner corner glitter and some blue liner and it's like completely different. I'm like so unique and talented and creative. It's crazy. So subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more creative looks. And also I go live on Facebook and do my makeup there at least three times a week. So I hope you guys will like my Facebook page. It is linked in the description below. Like my page with notifications on and you can come hang out with your girl if that interests you. I mean, I guess there's not much more to say about this collection. I don't even know how much it costs, but I do know that it is coming out November 15th. Ah, <sighs> my boobs are telling me it's time to go to sleep. And there's a 30% chance that it's already raining. It is time to go to sleep though. I took way too long filming as per usual. But, oh, 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 like and subscribe. I don't know if I said that already. I think I said it at the beginning, but you know, like and subscribe to my channel, Corfavor. And then the question of the day, yay, 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 is 
What is your favorite Disney movie? Sure, yeah, let's do that question. My favorite Disney movie is, oh, Aladdin. Obviously, Aladdin. Doi, yo, yo, yo. Name a better Disney movie in the comments below. If you want to fight about it, we could go fight. I don't know, I'm not that passionate about it if I'm being really honest. But, you know, it is the best Disney movie, and that's, that's on period. I guess that's about it for this video. Let me check my notes, see if I forgot anything. Jesus. Yep, I think that's it. IG2G, I will TTYL, LYLAS, SWAT. Hello, it's me again. And yeah, this is a whole new different makeup look, a whole new different background even. A, a new beautiful hairstyle and a really new beautiful shirt that I actually literally wear in every single one of my videos. It's not a joke, it's just the shirt that I wear all the time. Anyways, I realized that after all of that, I forgot to tell you how to win the giveaway. So again, in the giveaway, I'm giving away the Anna collection, which includes the Anna palette, lip gloss, lipstick, and the Glitterly Obsessed. So I forgot to tell you guys how to win the giveaway because that's what happens when you film at 3.30 in the morning. My head really hurts. Anyways, so the way to win the Anna Collezioni is by subscribing to my YouTube channel, of course. You gotta follow me on Instagram. Instagram? Instagram at Debra underscore Jen. Sorry, this one's like causing a little ruckus. And like my Facebook page and share any of my Facebook posts. Then leave a comment below in this YouTube video with your Instagram handle so I can find your ass. You know what I'm saying? And in the comment, answer the question of the day, yay, yay, yay. If you don't answer the question of the day, yay, 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 then I don't think you actually watched my video. And that's rude. So I think that covers it. If I misspoke, the rules are also in the description. So best luck to ya. This palette in the collection is really pretty. Anyways, blah, 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 this, that, and the other. Giveaway! Okay, I'm gonna go wash my face and finish editing this dang video and hope that my headache goes away because it's not fun. Not fun at all. Let it go, let it go. We do boo do 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 do. I know the words because I'm such a Frozen fan. That is undeniable. Very cute, very cute. And uh, you're gonna like it. Dang nabbit, where did I put it, Jackson? Jesus. Oopsies. X that out. It was the wrong color, bitch. Mac 242. Get it in. Uh, uh, uh. Oopsies. Picture this, we were both butt naked, banging on the bathroom floor. How could I forget that I had given her an extra key? Help. Send help. Bitch. Baby girl, what's your name? Ah! Use code 5 Debra at checkout. I wish that got me something. It really doesn't. I just saw that KFC is testing out a chicken and donut sandwich, and I am literally here for it. Binge. I'm hungry. Hi, my name is Heart Attack, and I've given up. Yeah, so you wanna fight about it? You wanna fight about it or what? Okay, I gotta go. I, I don't know why I'm still here, if I'm being honest. Uh, goodbye, but it, but it, but it, that's all, folks. Goodbye. I said goodbye.